this video, we're going to look at problem number 17 on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 17, we have an equation and we want to solve for x. I'm actually going to show you two ways. That's why I have it duplicated over here. The first way I'm going to show you is where we just go ahead and move the x over to one side because notice we do have an x over here and an x over here. I'm going to subtract two-thirds x from both sides. And when we subtract two-thirds x from both sides, it cancels out over here, and now we have to subtract these two fractions. We've got to find a common denominator to combine these like terms here. I'm going to use a common denominator of 15 because 3 times 5 is 15, so 3 and 5 go into this number. As a matter of fact, 15 is the least common multiple as well. And looking at our first fraction, if we take 5 times 3, we get this 15 right here. Therefore, if we take 4 times 3, we get 12. 12 over 15 is the same thing as 4 fifths. Now our second fraction, 3 times 5 gives us this 15. 2 times 5 gives us 10. Now when we subtract this, 12 minus 10 gives us 2. Therefore, we have 2 fifteenths x minus 5 is equal to 2. Notice I brought down the negative 5 and the 2. Let's add this 5 to both sides. I moved the 5 over because we want to get this x by itself, and now we have 2 fifteenths x is equal to 7. Our last step here is to divide by 2 fifteenths. So we are going to divide by a fraction because this fraction is getting multiplied by x, and the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So dividing by 2 fifteenths over here as well. Now on the left-hand side, we said that was equal to 1, or 2 fifteenths divided by 2 fifteenths. A number divided by itself is always 1. To handle this division here, when we divide by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. If you've seen some of my other videos on dividing fractions, I refer to it as keep. We keep this 7. I'm going to write that as 7 over 1. We change our division to multiplication, and we flip this second fraction. Keep, change, flip. Now let's multiply this out. 7 times 15 is 105. 1 times 2 is 2. So we have 105 over 2 as a solution for x. If you take 105 and divide it by 2, you get 52.5. There's nothing wrong with that answer either. So x is equal to 105 over 2, or x is equal to 52.5. Let's look at the other technique I wanted to show you. Now, this is going to be a little bit crazy, but this is how I commonly solve equations that have fractions in it. I look at my fractions, all of my denominators, and I find a common denominator. The common denominator from here was 15 because 5 goes into 15 and 3 goes into 15. So let's multiply both sides by 15. When we take 15 times 4 fifths, you're really trying to find 4 fifths of 15. One way you could do it is you could take 15 times 4. That gives you 60. Divided by 5, that gives you 12. So we have 12x. Another way you could think about this and get 12 is take the 15, divide it by 5 first. That gives you 3 times 4. Boom, there's our 12 again. Don't forget to distribute the 15. We did it here, but don't forget it over here as well. 15 times 5, that's 75. But watch your signs. We have minus 75 is equal to... Now let's distribute the 15 over here as well. It's okay if the 15's behind the parentheses versus being out here in front. It works the same way. So two ways that we can do this again. 15 times 2 is 30. Divided by 3 is 10. So we have 10x. Or you could take 15 divided by 3. That gives you 5 times 2. You still get the 10. So we have 10x plus, don't forget to distribute here, we get 30. Now why do I like this technique? Well, look at what you have. We have no fractions. We're still going to get a fraction for an answer, but we have no fractions to worry about like we did over here. So I'm going to move the 10x over by subtracting. 10x minus 10x cancels out. 12x minus 10x is 2x. Bring down your minus 75. This is equal to 30. Just bringing down our 30 over here. Let's add 75 to both sides. Negative 75 plus 75, they cancel out. That's why I did that inverse operation of addition to cancel out the 75s. Bringing down our 2x, that's going to now be equal to 105. And notice this is starting to look like this. 
When we divide by 2, the 2's cancel, we get x equals 105 over 2. The same exact answer, and this technique is the technique that I use, but I understand that it can be a little bit confusing at first. But this technique gets rid of the fractions right off the bat. Boom. We had no fractions to worry about. But again, we still ended up with a fraction in our answer. And there you have it, two ways of doing problem 17 on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can pick this up over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.